Hello Kim, good evening. Hello Kim, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, sorry to kept you waiting. Yeah, my computer is very lag. I couldn't enter uh, at 7 p.m. Okay, so anyway, um, how are you today, Kim? Mm, I'm fine. That's good to know. So what did you do today? Mm, I go to school. Nice, because you went to school. Yeah, because today is Thursday. Okay, what else did you do, Kim? Mm. Mm, I... Yes. What? Mm, I go to school and, uh, and um, uh, learn class. Yes, yeah, of course. So, what did we discuss yesterday? Can you recall our topic yesterday, Kim? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. What was it about? What did we discuss? Mm. Mm. Learn class, learn class. What? Mm. Or what did you learn last night? I uh, learned the... Uh, mm. Then does uh, many things. What? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Okay, so yesterday we talked about city and a village. Can you remember? Mm. Yes. Yeah, you underlined the sentences that talks about the city and the sentences that talks about the village. Okay, so tell me what is a village, Kim? Mm, the village is small. Okay. I want you to compare city to a village. Uh, city is big uh, and village is small. Very good. What else, Kim? Um, a city is uh, many people. Village is uh, um, is, um, is um, Um. Okay, so which is more quieter, the village or the city? Yes, a, a city is many people uh, and village is a, a few people. Okay, yes, that is correct, Kim. Okay, so thank you for your answer, Kim. So now, look at my screen. Can you see it clearly? Mm. Can you see it clearly? So here, yes. we ended up here last night. So Jack's mother is telling him to take things to different parts of the city. So where must Jack take each thing? I want you to listen and write a letter. Are you ready to listen? Mm. Are you ready to listen, Kim? Um, yes. 
Okay, so now look at the picture. Can you see it clearly? Yes. Very good. So now, Kim, please listen carefully. 22B. A trip to the city. Listen and look. There is one example. Jack's mother is telling him to take things to different parts of the city. Where must Jack take the things? Right, Jack. I'd like you and Dad to take some things to the city with you. OK. Can you take this poster to the library, please? It's about piano lessons. Ask them to put it up on the wall. All right, Mum. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in the box. Take this tennis racket too. You can put it in your bag. Where should I take that? Take it to the swimming pool. The man there is really good at fixing things. I phoned him this morning about it. Oh, OK. And take your new baseball cap, the one that's too small. Should I take it back to the sports shop? Yes, and choose a bigger one, OK? All right. Do you want me to take these tickets too? Yes, we can't go on that day now. Take them to the circus. Get three tickets for Tuesday, OK? All right. And here's a bottle of water. What's that for, Mum? To take to the park? No, to take on your walk by the river. You always get thirsty in the city. You're right. Good idea. Oh, and here's the city map that I got from the computer shop. OK. It's got a mistake on it. Show it to the man at the station, please. We don't want people to catch the wrong train. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, Mum. So now, Kim, are you ready to check the your answer? Okay, so now let's check. Okay, what about cup? Okay, so let's correct. We have here. Oh, I can see the answer. Okay. So let me check carefully. We have map. That's A. Cup. That is C. Water. What is your answer in water? What letter? Uh, e. Okay, letter E. Let me check. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so that is E. Very good. Then this one is B. Great job. And G. So for this one, Kim, you only got two out of five. Okay, next time, please listen carefully to the audio. And if you want to listen again because you're not sure of your answer, you can say, teacher, I want to listen again. Okay, so here, can you please read Mover's Tip, Kim? Mm, most tip in the in reading and writing um, part two, you have to choose a correct read. Response to something that someone has said. The op the options are right or wrong, depending on context, context and funky function. Of for example, if the first speaker is making a, a suggestion, the 
correct answer is likely to be something began with yes, no, or okay for impressions like good idea. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Kim. Now, I think I know the answer. This is part C. Is the right answer yellow or red? Okay, I want you to, to read your answer. Okay, I think this city is a really exciting place. Mm. I think this city is a really exciting place. Okay, so what is your answer? Yellow or red? You read. Hello, Kim. Mm. Yes. Mm. Be, uh, so, so, uh, What's your answer? Uh, so do I. Very good. Next, I know there is a bookshop near here. What is your answer? Uh, I know there is a bookshop near here. So what Do you want to go there? Very good. Okay, so now, Kim, I think we need to find a cafe. I'm hungry. Don't read. Just read the answer. I think we need to find a cafe. I'm hungry. And I'm really thirsty. Okay, what about the next one? Mm. I know that's the right path quick. Come on. Uh, outside the shopping center. Okay, that is okay. Let's run. So now, Kim, for that one, you got three out of four. So here, I want you to look, read, and write. Look at the picture, you read the sentences, and you write your answer. Can you please read the examples? Mm -hmm. You can see a bus stop between two shops. That's what is the girl in the yellow helmet doing, riding a purple bike. Okay, thank you so much for reading so now i want you to complete the sentences number one to two then you write one to five words okay number one mm, two children are carrying trees uh, uh no 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 carrying a uh, uh whiteboard okay carrying a big tv or a computer number two How about number two, Kim? Mm. And the girl with long blonde hair is uh is eating eating something. Okay, it is playing a red guitar. The girl with the long blonde hair. This one. Uh -uh. Oh, yes. Okay. So, number three, what is in the tree? Mm. Mm. What is in the tree? Yeah. Uh, the cat and uh, the girl, uh, the cat. Okay, a little black gray cat. Very good. Number four, what is the clown wearing? Uh, oh, really? Uh, wearing a uh, mm, t-shirt. Okay, wearing funny clothes and blue boots. Okay. So now for this one, Kim, you got, I will consider f number four correct, okay? Just two out of four. So now, Kim, let's proceed with, uh, the. oh, there's still two, I, five, and six. I want you to write two sentences about the picture. Mm.
the man uh ride ride a red car. Okay, you say the man is riding or driving a red car. Okay, what else? Uh, uh the 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 uh green t shirt uh a boy uh take a picture. Okay. So you can say, where is the boy with the red, uh, with the green t-shirt? Mm. This one? No, uh, it's, this is this, this one. one. Yes, yes. Okay. You can say, the boy with the green t-shirt is holding a picture. Can you please repeat? Mm. 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 The boy with the green t-shirt is holding a picture. Okay, since you tried and you did your best in answering numbers 5 to 6, okay, that is 2 points. So 2 plus 2, that's four out of six okay so now kim let's proceed with next one okay so here i want you to listen to me and and you color okay mm -hmm. yes oh yeah wait a minute kim oh no yes this one So here it is. Oh no. Okay, so now you listen and color read out each. I will read out each instruction allow allowing you to color each object. Okay, so can you see the car? The small one that's in front of the bigger one. Color that car red, please. Okay, can you see the car? The small one that's in front of the bigger one. Color that car red, please. Um, Okay, where did you color the car? Yes, color the car. Color the small car red, please. Yeah, what? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Very good. 
Now, we have here. Now, find the man with the beard. Can you see him? Color one of his bags. Color the bag that is in his hand. Make it blue. Okay, again. Find the man with the beard. Can you see him? Color one of his bags. Color the bag that is in his hand. Make it blue. Oh, okay. Okay, now, number three, there are three televisions in the picture. Color the one that the boys are carrying. Can you see it? Color it yellow. What, what? What came? Okay, I will repeat. There are three televisions in the picture. Color the one that the boys are carrying. Can you see it? Color it yellow. Okay. Number four, and now color the coat, the one that the da, that the da clown is wearing. Color it purple for me, please. Thank you. Yeah. Now color the clo the uh, the coat, the coat that the clown is wearing. Color it purple for me, please. Thank you. Okay. Lastly, that's it. Very good. So for this one, Kim, you got a perfect score of four out of four. Very good. So now let's proceed with the next unit, which is unit 23. Okay, unit 23 is about around the world. Okay, so I want you to read the words from our vocabulary. Hello, Kim. Yeah. Okay. Jungle. Mm -hmm. Mountain. And mountain. Okay, what are the difference of field and jungle? Mm. Jungle is uh is uh, the like uh is many trees. Okay. Mm. And uh, my glass. Okay, so what is the um, what are the similarities of jungle and mountain, Kim? Mm. Mm, mm, yes. What are the similarities of jungle and mountain? Uh, in mountain is uh, many, uh, ma many, uh, many hill. 
but uh, jungle is uh, many trees. Okay, very good. So now, Kim, we have rock, island, and waterfall. What is, uh, do you know all these words? Rock, Iceland, uh, waterfall. Okay, so what's the similarities of island and waterfall? Mm. Yeah, uh, yes. What are the differences? Difference. Um, no difference. Okay. So waterfall is um fresh while island is salt water okay waterfall is fresh water then island is salt water so that's it for today kim before we end okay do you have any question no okay so thank you for joining our class i'll be seeing you tomorrow goodbye kim mm, uh, yes Goodbye. Goodbye.